Hello, Inspire Nation. I'm Creator Tracy, and this is Blazing Through on the FT2. We are going to do a leg day workout today. This is general fitness workout number 10, okay? General fitness workout number 10. You should be an intermediate, advanced person to do these workouts. If you are a beginner, just happen to find this workout. All you need to do is go a little bit lighter on the weight, okay? Go ahead, do the workout. If you're a beginner, this isn't too hard, but I want you to make sure that um, you don't get hurt. So um, there's not a lot of description going on. I will talk about it as I'm doing it. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna use Smith Machine Red Bar for every exercise, okay? This is gonna be a very intense leg day. Okay, so I have a towel around here for my neck. If you don't need one, you are a stud and more power to you. I like to protect my shoulders um, just the way I am. I have a mat out here because after every exercise, we're gonna do a 30 seconds of plyometrics. That means just jumping around a little bit before we get started to the next exercise. There's gonna be four exercises total, and we're gonna do different numbers of sets. And the sets, are all gonna be done at one time. And then we'll do the plyo between different exercises, okay? If you don't understand, don't worry about it. Our warm up is gonna be 20 body squats. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on those body squats. Go ahead and get your legs shoulder width apart. When you go down, I want you to pray. And then come on up and burst up, okay? Let's do 20 body squats. That's it. You're just gonna go all the way down and come up, all right? This is your warm up for today's leg day workout, all using the Smith machine. Okay, this is a kind of cool thing. Now remember, when you put that bar down, you need to have it at a level that you could do a squat and not hit the bottom. Okay, so make it a little low, not too low. You need to be able to get underneath it. We're gonna start off with Smith squats. Okay, this is a 30 minute workout. That's why I'm getting right into it because we're gonna do a lot of Smith sets today. Before you start, make sure you move that little red handle over to the silver hook, off the black side to the silver side, and do that on both sides, okay? That's gonna put your weight on the red bar. Get a weight that is heavy enough for you, but not so, so crazy heavy. I want it moderately heavy, okay? Now to do a Smith squat, you're gonna have to get underneath it and put it on your shoulders. So the best way I suggest you do that is to kneel down so that your shoulders are right underneath the bar, okay? Put your arms on the bar and then just stand up, okay? Put your feet out in front of you so that you're leaning back. See how I'm leaning back? I'm just holding on to give me some balance. Feet are in front of my hips, okay? And all you're gonna do is sit, okay? You're gonna go all the way down and stand. I am right at the level where I need to be. Probably should have gone one more load so that I don't risk hitting the base. If I happen to go a little lower, we're gonna go ahead and do 10, 12 reps. Nine, 10, I'm gonna do 12. 11 and 12. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and get out of it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go down one more. Just because if I wanna go on a deeper squat, then I wanna be able to not hit that base, and I'm right there. So, all you do to do that is you put the hook around that little lever inside there and then go down one. Make sure that the number on both sides match, then you know your bar is level, okay? Round one, we're gonna do this exercise four times. Okay, so the time I just did to take that off is all the rest you need. Ready, stand up, put your feet out in front of you. 10 to 12 reps, ah, oh, much better for myself. I can go low and I know it's not gonna hit. Four, five, six. Sit on this one, okay? Seven, weights on your heels. Nine, 
10. I'm going to go 12. That way, if you do 12, we'll finish together, okay? And step away from the machine. Give yourself 30 seconds, okay? I want you, this is where you get a drink of water if you need a drink of water. Recurl your towel. Shake it out. Maybe give yourself more weight, okay? If you can, let's go for it. If not, it's no big deal. All right, here we go. We're gonna do it two more times. Go ahead, fill the bar, down on one knee, and here we go. Nice and tall. Feet out front. I kind of look up in order to keep my sit nice and down under my hips. Four, five, Seven, 10, and 12. And then you can get out of it. Just walk forward. Okay, we're gonna do one more time. We're gonna do this four times. Woo. Are you feeling the love inspire? I hope so, because I sure am. <laughs> Okay, here we go, we're gonna do one more time, fourth time. And then we're gonna get into our plyo move, okay? Plyo is short for plyometrics. Ready? Stand up, feet up on front. Toes are forward, but just slightly out. One. Three. Five. Seven. Nine, eleven, and one more is twelve. Can go ahead and get out of this. Now the way I worked out this workout is to have the squatting things first, and then the low bar last. Okay, so we're gonna take thirty seconds. Starting in four, three, two, one. We're gonna go one, two, knee, one, two, knee. Are you ready? Here we go. Go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, knee. One, two, knee. This is just to get our heart rate going. All right, keep going. 30 seconds. Or if you're a counter, you can go 20 times, okay? That's 10 on each side. All right, get your heart rate going. Good job. So our next one, we're gonna do lunge squats. We're gonna do two sets of 10 to 12 on each leg. I'm gonna keep it at the same height. Okay, if you need to adjust the weight, heavier or lighter, do that now. All you're gonna do is back into that squat and stand up. I want you to keep one foot forward, one foot in back. 10 to 12 lunge squats. Two, all you're doing is dropping the back knee. Four, five, six, eight. So go 10 to 12. Woo. Switch legs before you stop, switch legs. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Let's do this, Inspire. All right, let's get down on it. Push yourself up when you're done. Because it's low, you're gonna have to go down again and get up. All right, my towel got a little messed up that time. Towel all set up again for the next set. That's your rest. Your rest between sets. Getting ready for the next one. Now, for time's sake, we're only gonna do this two times, okay? Because we have another four set after this and a three set after this. And I wanna make sure we get done within 30 minutes. While you're doing these at home, or maybe it's the second time you're going through this workout, go ahead and do three or four sets of these. 
All right, here we go. We're gonna go down again. It's our last one of these. All right, stand up. One leg forward, one leg back. One, drop the back knee. Two, three, four, five. Feel your quads? Oh yeah. Gonna feel your quads burning on this one because it's isolated. Are you ready? One. Three. Come on, Inspire, crush it. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna get out of this. We're gonna bring it lower though. We won't need this anymore. We won't do the towel. From now on, it's gonna be in our hands. So, I want you to bring it all the way down. So hook it in that hook. Lift it up a little bit. While it's engaged, go to the floor. And then put it behind. That way, as I lift it, I'm still lifting the stacks. So our, we're gonna go ahead and do 30 seconds of marching high knee lifts before we get into the next exercise. Are you ready, Inspire? Here we go. One. Just like that. 20 times on one side, or you can do 30 seconds. We're doing 30 seconds if you're doing it with me. Now the way I wrote these workouts in this Blaze 2 series, just like Blaze 1, do the whole thing three times. Okay, the first two, first time, you're doing it twice a week. The second time, I want you to do it four times a week. Upper, lower, upper, lower, each week. Okay, there you go. 30 seconds, get that heartbeat going. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do some deadlifts. Now, if I was you at home, I would face this way. Okay, but in order to not put my backside to you, I'm gonna get inside. It doesn't really matter, but I don't wanna put my backside towards you. All right, if you have a box step at home, now I'm not using one because I'm not supposed to use one because you may not have one, but if you have a step, I suggest you do it on the step. It's gonna make the bar lower to make you have more room to bend down, okay? So use your step if you have it. If you are shorter like I am, the bar comes up almost to your knees. It'd be nicer to have it lower, okay? So in saying that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. On the deadlift, I want your feet on the inside. You're gonna do stiff legs. Your hands are on the outside of your knees, right here. I'm grabbing it just on the inside of that serrated part of the bar. You always want your hands to match. Before you start, put your bottom down, okay? Sit down on it and stand. All we're gonna do is keep our legs stiff and come up nice and tall. Try not to really bend your knees too much. I want you to do this more stiff leg than anything else. Poke your fanny back, okay? We're gonna do 10 to 12 of these. Keep your chin up as you go down. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and I do twelve just to take the time. Okay, and then you squat down when you're done. Twelve reps, four times, okay? Just to show you the next one, I'll do it on the outside, like you'll be doing it at home, okay? All right. So, I'm going to grab it on the outside. Oh, what was that? Okay. I'm going to grab it on the outside and stand. Then I'm going to kind of move closer to the bar so it's kind of touching the front of my legs. And I'm going to go back down with my bottom back, knees are straight. Two, three, four. Chin up as you 
as you go down. Eyeballs looking up. Nine. And one more makes ten. And then squat down. Okay. <laughs> Sorry I faced the other way, but I want you to get the idea of how this should look when you're doing it. Keep your legs somewhat straight the whole time. Keep your chin up so that your back is flat. We're gonna do this two more times. That's why I think this is so important, okay? We're gonna do four sets. It's because I think it's a very important. It's gonna work from the whole back side all the way to the back of your knees, all right? So keep your feet very close to the bar, all right? Grab it out here, chin up, and stand. Are you ready, Inspire? Let's go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven. Eight. Two more, come on. You got this. I don't usually do leg days, specifically leg day, nothing else. But today, I really wanna show you what leg day feels like when you only do legs. It's exhausting, it uses all the muscles. Of course, there's tons of other leg exercises we could do, but sometimes it's kinda of nice to just use the red bar so you can see all the different ways you could use the red bar. Okay, we're gonna do one more set and then we're gonna move on to our next plyometric move. All right, ready, head up, hold the bar, stand up closer, and go down. As low as you can, okay? Two, three, hips back, hips forward. Eight, nine, And one more. Finish this one off. 12. Good job, Inspire. Woo! Those are tough. And what's harder is we're going to do a tough plyometric next. These are called pop ups. Pop ups have a rhythm. They go out, in, out, in, out. Okay, so I really want you to get that rhythm. When you're out, you're deeper. Up, down. You're up for a second and you're down for a little hold, okay? Get a nanosecond down there on that one. We're gonna go 30 seconds. Starting in three, two, one, go. Down, down, and notice I still am praying when I'm down. That will keep my head up and my back nice and straight. See how low I go. And there's a little pause at the bottom. Three, two, and one. 30 seconds, okay. We have one more exercise to go. We got just under 10 minutes to finish this one. We can do it, okay. The last one is gonna be a Smith suitcase carry. It sounds just as scary as it is, okay? <laughs> What you're gonna do is you're stand facing one side of your machine. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just squat down, pick up the bar, and then go down and stand. That's it. Squat, pick it up, down. That's two. Three, do you have it? Do it with me. Come on, let's go. Stand, down. Four, stand, five, stand, six, stand. This is gonna work your core by doing one side. That's seven, eight. Let's just go ahead and do 10 on this one, only because of time, and 10. This is going to exhaust you, okay? 
This is gonna put you at another level. We do the other side and then we'll take a 30 second break. So face the other side, squat down with your eyes up. Okay, stand and stand right next to the machine so you don't have to bend sideways. One, two, three. Notice my head is up the whole time. I'm never looking down. And 10. Good job, Inspire. You are crushing it. We are doing this together. We got two more rounds on both sides. This is a suitcase carry. Imagine that you're at O'Hare Airport, getting ready to get on one of those big jets. And you got a bag and you just keep picking it up and putting it down. Okay, face this side again. We're gonna do that again, 10 times on each side. Eyeballs up, feet together. One, two, three. Keep those shoulders level. Four, five, Seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Now it's going to get harder if you put more weight on there. I encourage you to put more weight. Put what you can put where you can do ten reps. Okay? I don't want you to be able to do more after that. All right. Stand right next to it. Other side before we get a little 30 second break. One, two, three, four, five, and you do have to stand without weight between eight, nine,
active rest, whatever you like. This is it for you. Get low, get quick, and kick that foot out. There we go. Five more seconds to go. Come on, Inspire. Hang out with me here. Woo. 